In this video, I will show you how to create waterfalls using Photoshop. Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Nauri Radwan and you are tuned to photomanipulation.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create waterfalls in Photoshop. In case you are wondering why you should learn this, it's because let's say you are working on a photo manipulation or matte painting or concept art and let's say you couldn't find the perfect or the fit waterfall stock images for your artwork. Or in another scenario, let's say uh, the internet connection went off. You can't use the internet to search for the stock images. This is why it's so important to learn how to generate things or to create uh, textures using just Photoshop. There is three ways to generate waterfall in Photoshop. First one is to add a new layer and fill it with black. Then go to Filter, Pixelate, Mesotint, and choose Cross Dots. Then add a blur by a low value. Then go to Blur Gallery and choose Path Blur. Make sure the arrow is facing down and increase the speed and uncheck Centered. Just make sure it looks like a motion blur effect and then click OK. Then go to Filter, Filter Gallery and choose Glass. Hold Ctrl and click on Default to get everything back to default settings. Make sure texture is on frosted and the distribution and smoothness are between 3 to 6 values. I recommend making the distortion value more than the smoothness. Then click OK. Rotate the image from image menu by 90 degrees. And then go to filter. Stylized and click on Wind and choose Stagger. To repeat the step over and over, click and hold Ctrl Alt F three or six times till you get a waterfall look or a waterfall texture. Duplicate the layer three times and turn each layer to screen blender mode and then merge them together and try to add contrast with levels by clicking on Ctrl L. We don't want it to look like sharp lines, so add a blur by one or 1.5 value and maybe add sharpness after you finish. If you want to separate the waterfalls, choose the gradient map tool and make sure it's on reflective mode. And then turn the blender mode to vivid light, decrease the opacity to 25%. Make sure the color is on white and start dragging on the areas that you want to be bright. And then with a black color and 5% opacity, drag on the areas that you want to make dark. The hardest part in making an artwork is finding stock images for it. Sometimes it can take days of searching. This is why photomanipulation.com is giving away this free stock images bundle that contains stock images of real life models, CG models and creatures. Save yourself a lot of time and get more than 100 premium high quality figure stocks. To download that free stock bundle, just visit our photomanipulation.com website and go to free stocks. Type your email right here and click on go and you will get the link for download. The next technique is to go to filter, render, pipers, and make a texture like this. Then go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and add a glass like we did previously. Then rotate the image 90 degree from the image menu, and then go to Filter, Stylized, and then add the wind 
and choose stagger and then click on Control alt f multiple times till you get a waterfall texture and then add a 1 or 1.5 value blur from the Gaussian blur menu and then add some contrast using levels by clicking on Control l you can even go further and add clouds texture for extra details as a waterfall smoke slash fog If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Not every waterfall should be uh, perfectly falling like that. There's some waterfalls that hits rocks and what so. To add that to your waterfall texture, go to filter menu and click on liquify. Make sure you are using the smudge tool and make sure the destiny is on 100 and then click on some random areas. Uh, random areas or the areas that you want the water to hit click on that area and drag it to the top and do that to the other areas as well and that will give them the uh, look of the water is hitting something before it falls on the lake or something like that use levels by clicking ctrl l and add contrast to it if you are satisfied with the texture that you got you can go with it but if you are not you can always even do that steps from the beginning or you can just go to image and rotate it and add a wind texture it's up to you at this point you can add the waterfall texture that you created to your artwork simply by pasting it turn the blending mode to screen and use levels or hue and saturation adjustment layer to make it darker so you can add the colors using levels menu and that's by clicking on Control L, go to the red, green, blue channel and add the color that you want to add uh, depends on the color of your artwork. Then decrease the saturation if it's too much and just like that you add the uh, texture to your artwork. You can also apply the last technique live on the artwork and that's by going to the artwork file and then click Ctrl and Alt and E key to merge all the files into one layer at the top. And then add the waterfall texture above it. And when you open the liquify menu, use the merged layer as a backup and lower the opacity and smudge above the objects that you are adding the waterfall into and that will give you more accurate displacement.
That was it for today's video. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, show us that by clicking on the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social medias. All the links are going to be down in the description. Also, if you like to see more in-depth advanced techniques such as this one, make sure to get my digital landscape reloaded course. The link is going to be down in the description as well. And I'll see you in the next tutorials. Peace.